What's up, Taurus? How's it going? This is going to be your couple's reading for mid-November. This is going to be for those of you either in a relationship or in a significant connection. If you are completely single, check out the singles reading. Those are already posted. Make sure you check out your weekly as well. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. Make sure you check me out um, everywhere else. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I am everywhere under the same name. All right, here we go, Taurus. What's up? Oh, the lovers. Nice, guys. Knight of Pentacles. Oh the devil. <laughs> Two of swords. King of cups. Oh, and the star. Nice. I'm not even worried about this devil, honestly. I don't think that it's a bad thing in this reading. Here, let me just straighten you out real quick. All right, because you guys are coming in here as the lovers. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, but you're coming in as the lover. So you're doing great. You feel like you're in a balanced connection. You feel like you guys match each other. Let's get another one on that. Oh, and temperance, Sagittarius, more of the same. It's like... It's a feeling of like you've earned this relationship, like you've grown into it, like you guys have grown up and now you're in this, this balanced, harmonious connection, right? Um, what else? What else, y'all? What else? Let's see. You guys mix well together. The hanged man. All majors here. So is there, is there a little bit of boredom though here? Are you waiting for something from this person? Are you waiting for them to do something? Are you waiting to see what they're gonna do? Hmm. They're coming in in this Knight of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with another earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, don't have to be. You've got a lot of shit here. You've got really, as far as majors, you've got Gemini, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Capricorn so far. Um, anyway, so they're, like kind of taking things real slow. That might be what it is. There might they might be moving real slow and you're just kind of waiting for them. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, so you might just feel like they're moving a little slow. Hold on a second. Let's clarify. Oh, the four of wands. This is 1111 though, guys. So even if they're moving slow, they are committed. They are looking to either move in with you or get married. This is marriage. It's 1111. It's stability. It's at the very least living together. Um, if you're not already living with them. Okay. Um, how do they feel about you? The two of swords. Well, why are they indecisive? What's the problem? Is that why they're moving too slow? Because they're indecisive what is this justice libra could be dealing with a libra you've got so many majors here it's ridiculous um but they feel like you guys are a balanced connection they feel like you guys balance each other out you know everything's equal everything's great but for some reason, it might be the whole marriage thing. If you guys aren't already married, they might not know if that's something that they want to do in their life. Seven of Swords. Why is there deception? What is the deception here? Let's see. What's the Seven of Swords? King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um... somebody might not be very emotionally expressive it's like somebody's trying to be like way too head over heart here way too careful way too logical you know hmm. all right so the reality of the relationship y'all is the devil 
I don't think that this is toxic. I don't think that that's what this means in this situation. The rest of the reading isn't bad. Um, so I think what this means, either you're dealing with a Capricorn, I think it's just really lusty, really obsessive, and there might be some fear here on their part. But uh, I don't think that this is something awful. So let's just see. What's this devil all about? The Ten of Swords. Is somebody unhealed from something? There could be something here with somebody, likely them, because they're the slow-moving ones right now, that uh, they might have like some unresolved hurt. They might be going through something in their life that's causing them to feel like scared, causing them to... Uh, be a little obsessive and I don't mean obsessive like with you I mean obsessive with like um, how do I want to describe it um, like obsessive about being detached you know what I mean like trying to take things like kind of too slow get another one on that Queen of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry. And the Five of Pentacles reverses. So somebody here has some underlying rejection, abandonment issues that likely have nothing to do with this relationship. But they are there, they are a problem, and they do cause somebody to be a little obsessive, a little scared, all right? Um, the outcome though is the King of Cups. So whatever this issue is here where somebody might seem a little cold detached, it's going to be resolved because we have the King of Cups here, which is emotional availability, emotional expression, emotional strength, you know? It's also Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but you've got like all the signs here, so whatever. Get one on that King of Cups. That is way too many, but I did see the Emperor. All right. The Two of Pentacles reverse. So, again, with the overwhelmed shit. Somebody's, like, overwhelmed. Somebody has too much going on here, and some shit needs dropped. It's just, there's just too much. And I don't, again, I don't think it's a relationship. I think it might just be, you know, if somebody has too many responsibilities in life, if, if somebody's working too much, there's just too much, somebody needs to put some shit down here in order to stay emotionally healthy. All right, the advice here is the star Aquarius. This is about healing. There's definitely some healing that needs done here on someone's part. Um, but this is healing from the universe. It's universal blessings. It's wishes coming true. So all you have to do is like be on your shit. Whatever it is that you want to happen here, you know, just manifest it. The universe is trying to help you out. And the Ace of Cups, beautiful. So it seems like there needs to be an emotional expression, right? But it's not happening because somebody's scared. And this is a this is an emotional new beginning. It's like healing somebody emotionally. If somebody in the connection is having some emotional issues, the universe is helping heal that person or both of you, whatever. Um, what else here? Let's see. What else can we get, guys? The Four of Pentacles. What? No, no, we don't need to do that. Um, Again, with the holding back, somebody's really holding back emotionally because they're terrified. So the idea is for that person to go through their emotional healing so that they don't feel like they have to close themselves off emotionally, you know? All right, I think that's all we have to say. All right, you guys take care. Thank you so much for being here.